the Store Manager Academy. We are in week four, lesson eight. We're going to talk about managing your team using technology. Believe it or not, even though you have maybe multiple generations that you're managing in the workforce today, all of them like to use technology. Everybody has one of these, right? They have a smartphone. You might have a few holdouts, but doubtful, not many out there. And these things can truly make your life easier as a manager. And even using a laptop or a computer, there is technology at your fingertips, there's apps at your fingertips that can, be, that can help you be more effective as a manager. And your team actually will thrive in this technology. So that's what I'm gonna to talk to you today about is using technology to manage your team one of the best apps I can recommend is an app that's called Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O, Trello. Download it, it's available on the iPhone, it's available on the Android, and it can be managed from a desktop uh, interface as well. But this is a task management app where you can literally assign tasks and details to individuals and teams you can upload documents, Excel sheets, planograms, and there's a way for your team to actually update you on the progress and take pictures when they're done. It is one of the best apps that are available right now. Maybe there's other apps out there that you're aware of that you use. Whatever you use, make sure you're using it effectively. Don't make an app just another step for your team to have to complete on their task. If they already have to report to you via email and updating a task manager, and then you want them to also upload and, and update you on an app, it's really defeating the whole purpose of managing your team using technology, helping them be more productive with their time. So whatever you use, make sure it's an efficiency increaser. It's increasing the efficiencies, the reporting of your team and making it a more flawless way of managing your team. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So that's one app you can use. Other things such as just email can be very effective. Maybe your team emails you nightly their numbers or text, text sends you a text message the numbers they hit the night for that night. Maybe they don't. But that's something I highly encourage any store manager is to have your team send you a recap email of what happened for the day, the pros and the cons, the, the stuff they weren't able to accomplish and why have that typed up in an, have them type that up in an email it's so much more efficient that way I'll tell you why when you come in the next day and you look at your sales and it's a surprise that you didn't hit your sales goal or that you did that's a problem you should have that information already basically live at the end of the day from your team I know you know some of you can actually just access that on your store dashboards at home so that's great but there's still an accountability piece to that. So if your team just sends you a recap, we hit our sales goals today, and these are the, the tasks that we didn't accomplish and why, it's not a surprise when you do walk in there and see that they didn't have certain tasks completed. So there should be an accountability factor. I know old school people used to have like a little planner for each department, for each team, where they wrote in what they completed, they check off the things that they completed and the things that they didn't. Try to digitize that. You can hold people more accountable, you keep a permanent record, and it's just easier to manage that way. There's not a lot of guesswork. So use email to your advantage when you can, where you can. Other apps that are very useful. There's an app, there's a walkie-talkie app. I believe it's, uh, oh man, I, don't even, I can't even remember the name of it right now. But this app allows you to communicate with your team. So. Uh, it's called Boxer. That's the name of the app, Boxer. So if you have, if your team has like a real, you know, a me they need an immediate answer right away. They're just working with a customer and they, they just can't, you know, get an answer for that customer and they know you have the answer. Instead of getting on the phone and calling you and waiting for a minute for you to pick up or for you to go to your voicemail, they can just simply pull out their phone and hit the, the talk button and say, hey, Steven, I have this unique situation. I'm just not you know, I have a customer right here that I need help with. This is the problem. Can you get back to me ASAP? Thank you. Done. Send. Sends it right to you. You get a notification, a little beep. You listen to it, and you can just quickly talk back to your team. 
that is a lifesaver. I have so many store managers that are using that right now that are, it's just, it saves them so many headaches, so many customer, bad customer reviews and complaints because their team has basically instant access to you. There is a downside that to, to that, right? Because you have a life too at home. You want free time, you want downtime. So you've got to set your limits. Don't just ways or don't just send me a, a Voxer message like, on every little thing. I want to empower you to make decisions and I'll back you up. But there are unique situations where you need to get a hold of me and Voxer is the best way to do it. It's also a great way for your team to communicate to each other, to their department managers. You know, if they're in the back of the store and somebody's at the front of the store and they, maybe you don't have walkie talkies, you can use the wit, you can use the Voxer app to talk back and forth. Why spend, you know, what is it, a thousand dollars for a set of walkie talkies for two? That's crazy. Use your smartphones. It's so much more simpler and, and it's easier. So those are ways you can manage your team effectively using technology. There's a lot more things you can do out there. Anything, any visual that you can create using technology, the better. So if you can have a leaderboard, we, we talk about gamify, right? Gamifying your goals and expectations. Uh, that is one way that you can really just hit, make it hit home with people. If you have a digital, you know, reader board, not a reader board, just a digital uh, screen that has the company dashboard on there, has the store dashboard, and if that's just something that's just dedicated, if you can dedicate one screen in your office or in the break room, or even two if you can, that is just for your, the, all the KPIs that you measure in the store, they're there to measure the contest and the goals that you're reaching towards, that's how you truly can maximize technology to your benefit, to have your team always have those, those goals are always gonna to be top of mind for your team. It's a live update. It's one thing to have a handwritten dashboard in the chart, right? It's another to have a live update going on 24 seven. Uh, lastly, I, I'll, I'll caution you with this last one, using social media to manage your team. Social media, I, you know, there's pros and cons to social media, right? But it can be a team builder. If you do a private Facebook group, sometimes companies won't allow that, so you've got to be real careful with that. But if, if there is some, if your team, if your com if your company does allow you to do that, do a private Facebook group that are just for your employees, not for the store, you know, for your customers to look at, but a lockdown private group where you're the administrator, where employees can share ideas, best practices, share experiences share videos so an employee was like man i had this crazy situation today this is how i handle it but i know it wasn't the best way to do it and then you can chime in and do a video message you know right there on the facebook group and say hey jim that was you know i know you weren't sure how to handle it but man after after looking at the way you did handle it i think you did a fantastic job way to go kudos and then everyone else can go hey kudos good job jim that's how you can use social media to your advantage. I don't uh, recommend your friend, you make friends with all of your people on Facebook and so they can see your status updates. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a private Facebook group where you can share best practices. And, and, and as long as you set the expectations of that group of how, what it's to be used for, what should be posted and what shouldn't, and here's, the, here's what happens if you misuse this Facebook group, then generally speaking, you're gonna have more positive outcomes. Come from that Facebook group, using social media to build a community behind the store of employees that support each other and really work towards driving a profitable store, having a high performance team. That's what technology is all about. It's all about being able to manage your team efficiently and building a team behind you that supports that supports your cause and they're going to use, you're going to use the technology to get the best out of them. I know it sounds kind of, you know, it's it's uh it's hard to to, to really uh get that concept in many ways because there's so many things that can go wrong with tech with with using Facebook and using these different apps, but if you use them appropriately in the right way, you will be more efficient as a manager. Thanks for watching this course on managing your team by technology. If you have a specific question on what apps are good and what apps are not, please ask those in our Facebook group. It's 
It's all about building a community of support, just like you should be doing with your team. Ask those questions directly on the Facebook group and I'll answer them as quick as possible. And don't be afraid to jump on our weekly conference calls where you can ask me very specific questions that you're facing and I will directly, and I'll answer them directly. Thanks for, thanks for watching this training. Look forward to seeing you in the next training in week five. Thank you.